Hello Jason, I just came across your query on the base and I might have a possible solution on how to get uh, how to do these little um, grid sections here. So, so let's go ahead and just check it out real quick. So if um, just quickly if I were to grab a point and just hit control D to, um, to extrude the point um, and then subdivide afterwards I'm able to get um, almost a spherical. Uh, and if I were to delete the uh, the polygons in the middle, um, you can see now with the subdivided result, um, I get a pretty nice circle um, as a result. So that's more or less what we're going to be doing. Um, and to get the pattern, the pattern that's uh, this unique pattern here, uh, we'll just go ahead and do that to every other point, and then. Whoop. So one, two, three, and then let's just do that real quick. And then uh, if I hit pause, you can see that this is uh, quite similar to the uh, to the result. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to go ahead and uh, maybe get the top view, grab these guys, all right, and then I'm going to get my alternate side by coming uh, maybe down here, and then holding down Control and then. Uh, inverting my selection. There we go. Then I'm just going to hit Control D. So now I have a whole grid of these uh, these circles. Now all I need to do is select the uh, select these polygons. I'm just going to select the adjacent uh, po uh, polygons, and then now I can go ahead and scale local, and I can scale these up. Getting pretty close. Yeah, it's not bad. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do a uh, cluster um, because uh, I want to trim this up over here, but I still want to be able to select my my polygons again. So let's go ahead and uh, Control L, make a cluster, and then uh, let's clean up these these edges here. Just gonna disconnect components. All right, click. Let's connect components and then let's go ahead and just grab a, uh, a polygon island. Select this and invert my selection. Boop, delete. So now I have a pretty clean layout here. Let's go ahead and select our uh, cluster. Now we can go ahead and uh, just delete that. Boop. Select members. There we go. And delete. Then let's go and uh, let's look at the perspective view, maybe. User, whoop, user view. Grid. And let's just hit plus. So you can see there's a, uh, a quite uh, pretty nice result. Now, the issue we're having here with the corners, but uh, we can just go ahead and uh, just, just do it however we need. Uh, just kind of clean those up however we need. But uh, what's nice about this little grid here. We can now just take this, duplicate it over, bring it across, just hit Control D however many times now. Grab these guys, Control D, bring it up. And there we go. So now we have a procedural kind of uh, solution. I just grab this and then let's. Uh, Merge them together. Move these guys out of the way. Then we'll just hit plus and magic. So um, there we are. Let's go and select them and then extrude real quick. Control D, bring it in. Just chug in a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead and shade it. And we'll check out our final result. There we go. Hope uh, you found that um, to be useful. And if you have any alternate methods, I, I would definitely like to see. Take care, man. Bye.